All right, so let's show you the loot right here. Ta-da! 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 All right, so that's a lot of loot right there, right? <laughs> Ended up spending... 10 10 so $20 the first day then $142 at one stay sale and another 30 so I've got roughly all right so on the first day I've already lied to you in this video I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to change my freaking ways man I'm gonna have to stop lying to y'all right so I didn't just spend $20 first day um I forgot about all the DVDs so we'll go over those so actually I spent closer to $40 so here we got ten dollars on this printer. It's an HP Envy forty five oh two. It's worth one hundred and thirty dollars on eBay. I'll show you a comp, maybe one hundred twenty, whatever it was. Um, and then I bought these keys right here, fourteen key fobs, right? They were ten dollars for all of them. Uh, beard, you buy all this shit. When are you ever gonna list it? The key fobs are already listed. So there's this one here, the Dodge one. Let's get you a better look at it. What the one looks like it still looks the same. Oh, there's the other key. So this this Dodge key, it's got a, they're all branded, they all got blanks, but they all are, are fobs on the end, right? Fourteen of those are already listed. I listed them at fifty dollars a piece. These two guys are non fob, non whatever. They were for a Viper. I've already sold them. I took the best offer of thirteen each, so twenty six dollars. So I'm already eight dollars to the good on that one. So. And down here in the back, this is what I forgot about. I bought all these DVDs first day. <laughs> um, some of these are worth 40 or $50. They're all new. And then I bought these blank. Um, I got 11. These were a dollar each. So I got 11 Maxwell tapes. Or actually, I got eight. And I got three RCAs. Uh, and then some. Who cares what it is? I'll stick with a VCR. The rest of these DVDs, man, are killer. Damn, I lied again. Also bought that at a Walkman. A five dollar Walkman. If you ever see these guys here, that is a that's just a Dell 240 watt. These are generally 30 or 40 dollars each. They're usually in the dollar pox. Nobody knows what they are. That actually is a most time it's to a gaming laptop. So yeah, that was a good one. I paid two dollars for the mother's clay bar kit. I'm gonna keep that for myself. I might have spent another dollar or so on cables. This is another deal. That's generally to a decent computer. They didn't pick the plastic off of it. And I Ethernet cable for myself for here in the office of so supplies. So let's see, what do we got here? There's a bunch of these right here. Um, they're all new. And so it's five DVDs. These were all 40 or fifty dollars a piece. So that's winning, right? And then the big one I paid. Blu-rays were three dollars instead of two dollars, but that's a fifty-dollar set of Die Hard Blu-rays, the twenty-fifth anniversary collection for John McClane. I don't even know which ones are in it. Die Hard, Die Hard Two, Die Hard with the Vengeance, and Live Free or Die Hard. So all four movies are in it. So, yep, winning. All right, so let's go over second day. Second day were the rest of the DVDs that I I paid a dollar for because they weren't worth as much, but I picked up four more new ones. And this one was 50 cents because all the used ones were only a dollar. So I, I like picking up sets to run through the auction. Speaking of auctions, Black & Decker. $3 for the hedge trimmers. So that's $1.50. Going to the auction. Should be 5 6 8 10 bucks. you know, when you're flipping $1.50 and you're making 4 or 5 It's winning, right? Man, look at the beautiful lampshade. Roll Tide. It's early in this video. Hit you with a Roll Tide. So this stained glass does really well to auction, and Alabama does really well. So let's combine stained glass and Alabama. So hopefully that's going to do very, very well. Um, okay, here's a confession to make Sony sales. Sony sales, I tell you that. Um, I need to put that on a t-shirt. So I'm, I'm telling you, I know a lot about Sony. I've seen a lot of Sony. Um, I can walk you over there and show you a mini disc player. Most of you probably never even seen or heard of a Sony made a mini disc player. But this this Blu-ray, they wanted a hundred dollars for it, so that means second, third day it was fifty, so it's fifty bucks. Beer, why did you pay fifty bucks for a Blu-ray player? 
any time that it starts with the word the so BDP is our normal numbers, but this is a UBP. See the word ultra? That tells you that it's something different. So that is a 4K Blu-ray player, Ultra HD. It's their top of the line. It's three to four hundred dollars new. It sells $180 used on eBay. I didn't look up on Amazon, but I will. It's newer, so I might be restricted on Amazon. The newer Sony stuff, I'm restricted. The older stuff, I can sell. Anyway, so I plan on, I should make about $100 on that player. All right, moving right along. This thing was 30 bucks. It is a battery-operated steel blower. Um, there's all your numbers. It's a steel BGA45. It's got the charger with it. Um, I wasn't going to get it. I was looking at it. I was on the fence. And then I turned it on. It's hard to do all this filming with one hand. I'm like, holy crap. It, it'll lift back on you. And the thing's so powerful. This is the blower I have. <laughs> I bought it. It was 10 bucks, so 5 bucks. It has an 18-volt battery with it. I have an extra charger, so this is going to auction. And this brother will go to auction, too, because I've got a, I've got, I've got one like this. I'm going to send them both to auction. Hell with them, because I'm keeping this one. <laughs> that battery doesn't last great, and so, yep, yep, yep. So, I, you know, I picked these up. They're a dollar each, so I make some 50 cents on second pack. Wait, this is another bigger one. Um, generally, that means they're better. They're newer because they, the newer computers, the newer gaming computers need more power. And then that goes to something around here. <laughs> um, Sony. That goes to that Blu-ray player over there. I'm looking at it thinking, thinking, what in the hell? What the what? It, it go, we'll get to that in a minute. Um, you know, I always pick up remotes. So these are Panasonic... Uh, V V C R remotes right here. This Panasonic DVD player, and that's a Hitachi. Damn, I know what it is. It looks like a. I don't know. It was fifty cent. I should have checked the batteries. I got lucky. All right. So here's the other fifty dollar item right here. Um, this KitchenAid this is a model thirteen thirty three. So Journey said that means it's a thirteen chop, thirteen cup. Man, that's Greek to me. It's got all this stuff in it. It appears to be very rarely used. So what What beer, what made you spend $50 on a dang price? So this is the chef's accessory. So if you notice it here to the side, um, it's got. it's been used once or twice. Three times. But the, it comes with three extra blades. Johnny told me what they were, but yeah, I wasn't listening. Sorry. <laughs> all right. So whatever the hell that is. And then whatever the hell that is. This right here sells for $50 to use by itself. So there's really was no risk. Sell this, all the profits in this. List them both at the same time. I think that's worth about $119, $129. So I should make a on that $50, I should make a hundred. Same as the same as this. You know, the more expensive items, make sure you make more money. Alright. There's a TV behind there. That is a All right, get back. I threw this in the 50 cent pile. For, if you don't know what that is, folks, that is an uh, AM loop antenna. Uh, it'll work halfway decent for FM antennas too. So if you see those at the yard sales for 50 cents or whatever, and you sell receivers, those are good to pick up. So there's a 24 inch uh, Vizio with its remote going to auction. With the remote, usually 40, 50, 60 dollars sometimes with these things. You know, I'll put on there that it works. It's got a remote, and that'll help it out. So, you know, I didn't want to leave it behind. Coming up next, we got two Blu-ray players. The Samsung, which was $12.50, and the Sony was $10. They're worth about $40 or $50 a piece since they both had their remotes. That one's a little dusty, so I'm going to clean it up and stick it on Amazon. The Sony, I might be restricted. If so, it still sells for $40 to $5 on eBay. Either one, um, I'm going to test them with that TV, and then I'm going to be done with all those. Here's an interesting one. This case right here, This it was 5 bucks. For those of you who weren't born, and the old as the, old as the damn beard. Um, beard, what did you buy this ugly red case for? That's the name you should know right there, Savoy. 
S A V O Y. Savoy made great cases for eight tracks and then in the cassettes and some CD cases. So I paid $5 for all the cassettes and the case. Probably gonna sell the cassettes at the auction because there's all these country cassettes. And then the case, the case is worth uh, $34 on eBay. So, yep, bought that. Easy to list. Just take a couple pictures. I seem to, whatever that is, it'll come right off. All right. As you know, Scrappy has dementia. Okay, so for those of you who don't know, Scrappy is my 15 and a half year old dachshund. Dixie Bell's brother. He's crazy as hell. <laughs> He's got dementia and yeah, he pees in the house and I already cleaned up pee and crap this morning. Nothing like getting up in the morning, getting out of bed, walking into the bathroom and going, why's my feet wet? I'm walking in dog piss and it's 630 in the morning. So yeah, he missed the, he's got some little things in there. He missed them. Damn it. Never go to the bathroom in the dark when your dog has dementia. <laughs> it could have been worse. It could have been dog squeeze coming through my toes, right? Yeah. <sighs> Had, that hadn't happened yet. Thank goodness. All right. So the Swiffer guy here, this one was pretty neat. Uh, it actually has lights on it. Let's show you. Watch it. Oh, <laughs> There's not any pads on it. The pads are inside. Uh, so I paid $2.50 for that guy. It's got half a bottle of cleaner. Um, I bought some cleaner that I'm just going to fill back up. So yeah, that's that's for personal use. And then last but not least, pay $6 for a step ladder. Um, I'll take five minutes and clean off the steps. And it's going to auction. Uh, $15, $18 is what I've been getting for those. So you pay three and you sell it for $15, $18, you win. All right. That's it. That's the story. Oh my goodness. I've forgotten a story. <laughs> Got a friend across town who says, Yo, Beard. Okay, well, he calls me Scott or Zilke. He didn't call me Beard. People who know me in person generally don't refer to me as Beard. But anyway, I'll be Beard. Um, there's a MacBook Pro up here at this. At, they only want $20 for it at this at the Saving Way thrift store. I'm like, what? I'm like, why didn't you buy that? I just, I had to give you 30 for it. No, they got it on the counter. Just come get it. I got there in 20 minutes. It was already gone. I knew that. I knew it wasn't going to make it 20 minutes. $20 for a MacBook Pro, it was worth broken 200 And if it was running, it was worth 500 <sighs> Damn it. But it was not a fail. I was going to the other estate sale where I picked up the movies. And, and I looked over at the lady who was putting out stuff in the cart and saw this box right here. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. So if you, if you did, if you missed the morning show, do I even know you? You missed the morning show. We talked about printers again. We talked about how expensive printers are. All the dynamos have doubled because the new five series, you need proprietary labels because the RFDI chips are in the labels. So there's no generic labels yet. So everybody wants the older ones so they can keep buying generic labels. So I got a Dymo 450 Turbo. I get, there's box. It had its uh, power supply. It's sitting over there. Welcome to its happy home. I've decided to keep it. Instead of swapping labels, I'll just use it to print out the 30334 Amazon labels. Dun, dun, dun. I know you wonder, beard. What the hell? What the hell did you pay for it? <laughs> oh my goodness! There you go. It was tough, you know. I tell you, this stuff's out there, folks. You get, the more you look, the more you find. The more places you stop, the more people you know, the more help you get. I, this stuff works. I'm not lying. I'm not just just trying to hear my own self talk. Have a circle of friends, help each other out, and yeah, there you go. And so this friend of mine, we'll, we'll end this one with a one last story of something that I'd never seen before, and I bought it. Okay, so um, Steve, Steve says, you ever stop by that thrift store? Blah blah blah. I'm like, I didn't know there was a thrift store. Oh, you mean that one? He had the wrong name. He's like, they got a ton of printers in them. They had two of those in there. I tested both of them in the store. They were both dead. Even even one of them was in the box. They 
le ink leaked all over it. It was terrible. But it was not a fail. It was not a fail. All right. All right, everybody knows Big Al. What's up, Big Al? Come on. Big Al is still holding it because I haven't gotten it out of the back yet. Y'all going to learn something with this one because I learned something. That guy right there. $38.93. <laughs> uh, I'm going to... That's just... And I bought this one, too. Um, he said they had a lot of printers. Eight ninety eight is their brother. Uh, MFC J4870... Um, 40... Ah, uh, 497 DW. Dang. But this guy here is a JBC Photon 30. That is a professional laminator. I'm going to put the price of eBay and then Amazon on the screen. Notice the orange tape. That means she's brand new, never been used. That's how they come out of the box. There is no box. I've got the manual. The, it's got a power cord over there. It's still wrapped up. So this thing is this thing is uh, new other on eBay, no box. I will list it as used very good on Amazon because even with like new, you still got to have the box. All right, coming up on the screen right now. <laughs> We're going to take this inside. <laughs> All right, so I've had a good week, folks. You know, some five, anybody needs some $5 Ozark Trail grills? Uh, those are camp stoves. They're going to the auction. That's all the stuff for Amazon. That's all the Hanes. It's got to go in. All right, so now that you've seen it, oh, there's your, I picked up that at Walmart to sell to. Now, now that you're in shot for what that damn laminator sells for, <laughs> I'm going to list it for, I'm going to list it for $650. Or best offer on eBay, seven fifty on Amazon because there's a little price difference. All right, and now to, we've come to the end of the video. Don't cry. There's one more item in this bag. While I was checking out with said laminator, I'm like, all the some electronics over to the side. I'm like, man, that looks like I gotta cover the price. That looks like a Sony micro cassette recorder hanging over there on the wall. With the packaging, but the packaging, I don't know if it's new or not. <laughs> Never been out. There's not even a new one listed anywhere. It's an M530V. All right, in the comments right now. If you're still with me, hey, thanks a lot. I appreciate each and every one of you. Um, you guys are the reason why I make these videos. Um, just to inspire you to find things and show you what's out there. And to show you that you can make a full-time living of this. It just takes hard work, discipline and a lot of knowledge just kind of keep working on it. you kind of learn every day all right in the comments how much did beer pay for it how much did beer pay for a new sony micro cassette recorder man these things are expensive i just showed you they charged me 38 dollars for a laminator they didn't know what it was they had one of these big printers in the box for 129.95 so what did i pay for this i'll give you a moment hit pause if you guess more than a dollar ninety one, <laughs> did anybody guess less than two dollars or two dollars? I'll count two dollars as the right. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna list it. The pack, the package isn't scratched up, so I will list it as uh, like new on Amazon. I'm probably gonna list it for buck twenty nine on Amazon, or I'm gonna list it for ninety nine on eBay. This stuff's out there, folks. I've not seen one of these in quite some time. I had a tear running down my cheek. Lady's like, what's wrong? I'm like, Sony. <laughs> All right. Hope you've learned something. Hope it made you laugh. Smile. Just wince a little. See you in the next video. Roll Tide.